Sugar Baby. Hello everybody, um, we're at Woolly Mammoth, second, third recording I think for True Vine, and um, well True Vines is a new album from what I hear so far, it's, it's, uh, it's excellent obviously, and um, also we had Jerry joining us uh, today, Jerry Portnoy that is, Jerry started to play with us back in Mighty Tones with that album and we toured with Jerry. Jerry Portnoy is amazing. I just did a cut with him sitting on a couch next to me blowing harp. He grew up on Maxwell Street, you know. He was Muddy's harp player, Eric, so long with Eric Clapton. He's a super guy. And uh, we're old friends and uh, it was wonderful. It just doesn't get any better for a guy like me to sit and play blues with Jerry Portnoy. Uh, and have us really into it. I've played with a lot of different bands and a lot of different configurations, but playing with the Mystics was one of the best experiences I had. I mean, the musicianship was great, the camaraderie was great, the, the whole feeling, the music was great, the venues, Joe's, Joe treats you top notch. I just loved every aspect of it. The instrument fits the song, uh, whether it's blues or something else, then it works if it fits. But uh, the Mystics, I mean, it's it's just a great band. I love Joe's voice. I think of him as kind of a John Lee Hooker. He's got so much texture in it, and it's just deep and, and full of texture and soul. So, and the material is so eclectic. I mean, I loved uh, playing with the band. I mean, he had great musicians on at every position, great guitar player, and he had a fiddle player, and there were keys, and, and uh, it allowed to play any kind of music, and Joe's got, uh, you know, kind of uh, Catholic tastes, so uh, it's all really all Americana kind of roots music, whether it's blues, uh, country flavored, or whatever, but it's real stuff. Well, I think his sound is perfect for the Mystics, man, you know, because we have like a wide variety of, uh, you know, uh, styles involved, you know, all really roots-oriented stuff, but, uh, you know, American sounds, you know, rock guitars versus, you know, Latin-sounding drums and Joe's, you know, beautiful tunes over it, you know, and Jerry just comes in and plays the harp all by itself, and all of a sudden it's right down to earth, you know, it's like organic, you know, beautiful, uh, uh, almost uh, almost reels it in in a way, you know what I mean? Just like everything centers around it. But for this, uh, for this recording, I, the structure of the song was not a straight blues, so I had to listen to it and kind of count out the bars and know which, where the changes were so I could follow along. It, it, it wasn't uh, instinctual, like uh, just a straight-ahead blues. The tune he did with us recording uh, is not a 12-bar blues. It, it's something he learned and he took it and put a chart to it and he's such a pro, it's ridiculous, yeah, great. We we worked together on stage, uh, we've done shows together, uh, and we've also um, worked in the studio together. <laughs> 